Tom Dallas, who's uh, Kent's 24-year-old. He's doing well. Five wins on the spin, three by knockout. Tonight he's in with a tough Ukrainian, Staz Belikon. Back to Glenn and Ian from the start. Second out. Well, this could be a heavyweight worth watching. Tom Dallas from Chatham in the black trunks here. Up against Stas Belikon from Kiev in the Ukraine. Same base as the Klitschko brothers. That calls himself the White Horse. Don't ask me why, but he does. Only beaten once as well, Belikon. Right. Dallas has won his last two by first round knockout, Glenn. Yeah, he's on a, a good run. Certainly a very good win over Ben Harding. And he's uh, something of a puncher. Heavyweights always a bit more intriguing than prospects in other divisions for obvious marquee reasons. Big guy, isn't he? Six feet six inches, 16 stone six. Looks in good trim, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a, a decent style, trying to get the jab working. As you say, he's got that, that, that height and reach which comes in well when you're in the heavyweight division. Looking to let go with these big right hands and the ones with the body look quite damaging. Otherwise, Belicon got his gloves up well. Giving away here just over a stone in weight, the floppy-haired Ukrainian. And he's dropping his gloves. Not a great idea, that, when he's got his back to the ropes like that. Well, Belicon with a, a poor defence. And he'll be looking to get the, the big punches through that, Dallas. Just trying to weigh his man up. Rather telegraph the right hand that time, did Tom Dallas, who comes from Chatham, which was the base for one of our best fighters in the lighter weights of recent times, Johnny Armour, you might remember him, good value operator. Bit of bruising already around the face of the Ukrainian. Big and imposing Dallas, it would be a disappointment if he was to come a cropper on the nursery slopes of his career. Well, he started pretty positively, he's coming forward, taking the fight to, to Bellacorn. Just loading up a little bit, just needs to relax into this, get the jab working. But all going sweetly in his career so far. Five fights, five wins, three inside schedule. And having things much his own way in this opening round here, it looks like Bellacorn is largely in survival mode. Flipped with the left hook this time around the temple. And I think he's already realizing, Glenn, that this might be a rather uncomfortable experience. Yeah. There's a big right. Big yeah, he's right. not enjoying yeah. it, and down he goes. Yeah, he needed to take a break there. Three, four, five, Didn't stay six, down, but seven, he did go down, so he has to take the mandatory eight. It was, as you said, Ian, that one of those hurtful blows that he knew registered. Right. Could even notch up another first round win here couldn't he Tom Dallas certainly making an impact but no Bellacon got through it just about Doing nice, doing nice. Good, it's working lovely. See how you rolled that other car up? It's lovely, went straight to him. Just take a little bit more, set yourself into it. Set yourself, don't look to show it. Yeah. Yeah, nice and sharp, nice and sharp. Dream and please. bang, in it goes. The corner's happy enough with a, a positive start from Dallas. And there's the, the solid right hand that he just had to think about and obviously was dazed and had to take account. Yeah, that was a good right hand. Just clubbing punches. He knows he's strong. He knows he's got some power in Corners, those punches. And he's done the right thing. And he's been the boss from early on. Second out, round two. Second round. Tom Dallas looking to make waves. Looking to get the fans talking about him. And you've got more chance of that in this division than other ones. Quite a 
upright style, but he uses his jab well. He's got himself in good nick, and he's winning fights. Can't ask for much more than that, really, at this stage. He's 24 at the moment. He's got time. Heavyweights mature late. He's got a bit of amateur pedigree as well. So yep. he served uh, something of an apprenticeship. Yeah, reached two ABA finals. Good body shot there. Looking to get those gloves down. Good tactics there. He lost in those finals to Derek Chisora, who's currently banned for biting an opponent, and David Price. Yep, two decent up and coming fighters, along with Tyson Fury, Mike Perez. Just a, a bit of a, a buzz bubbling up in the heavyweight division. Oh, another right hand got through there. Ram through that high held guard. Very good shot. Down goes Bellacon again. Mandatory. Dave Paris is going to have a close look at him here, I think. Because he's uh, he's taking a fair bit, isn't he, Bellacon? He's not in the fight. No, he hasn't really registered with, with a decent shot of his own, has he? It's been all Dallas. Just controlling behind that long jab. Looking for the, the solid right hand. Looking for a big right there. And, of course, at this weight, if you get caught by anybody, it can make an impact but the person making an impact all the way through this so far is Dallas another body shot I don't think this is going to last too much longer do you no he's too strong too determined he wants this over with Pelicans won three out of four it's a huge left hook and really that ought to be the end of it you'd think another count third one he's taken no, that's enough. I knew Dave Paris was going to do that, the referee, and it was the right decision because Bellacon was under serious fire from Tom Dallas. He came in to the old Johnny Cash hit ring of fire. He produced plenty of fire. Yeah, and Bellacon, you know, he was brave enough, was up, was ready to go on again. So he was no pushover, but a good, solid job from Tom Dallas. Showed his power. Yep, one to watch. And we're always more than a bit interested in heavyweights. 24, keeps winning at the moment. Whether he can keep on doing it, we'll see. But there's nothing wrong with this performance. No, he's solid, he's got good basics. I think he can loosen up around the shoulders a little bit more. Obviously, he's young and he's going to get better, but certainly a good win here for Tom Dallas. Big left hook to finish it, and Bellacon, nicknamed the White Horse, fell up the second fence here. 